home flippers hit with losses. Open door is now echoing the Zillow collapse. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome to another video. If you're stopping by for the first time, please consider subscribing. Now, the company Open Door lost money on 42% of its August resales after it failed to anticipate the slide in demand for housing. The U.S. housing market sharp downturn has been bad for builders, flippers, and almost anyone who has plans to sell their home. Now, when rising mortgage rates shut down the buying frenzy, the slump had been bad for Zillow and now especially harsh for Open Door Technologies Incorporated who is a pioneer of computer data-driven spin on home buying flipping. It's known as iBuying. Now the company which sells thousands of homes typically on a month lost 42% of its transactions in August. This is according to YP data. Now Open Door's performance is measured by the prices at which it bought properties for and sold them for. And it was way worse than the key markets in Los Angeles, where the company had lost 55% of its sales, and in Phoenix, where it lost 76%. Now, the losses, which don't include fees that they charged to customers or the expenses that were incurred during the renovations or marketing of homes, have been looming since the housing market suddenly took a downturn in recent months. Now, the open door warned investors that it could expect a loss as much as $175 million in adjusted earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization in the third quarter. Now, they said, and I'm quoting now, we provide third quarter guidance to our latest earnings to reflect lower than normal transaction volume and home price appreciation, as well as longer than normal hold times for our inventory. Now, this is associated with the most recent change in residential housing fundamentals in 40 years. An open door representative said this in a statement also, we have moved to quickly and decisively prioritize inventory health and risk management. And now, you've heard me say this many times on this channel here before, but don't get yourself scammed. Flipping houses is like musical chairs. Round and round, everybody's smiling, everybody's having fun until the music stops. Everybody needs to grab a seat. The only problem is someone's left standing, everybody else is sitting. Don't let that be you. On the other hand, long-term buy and hold investing where tenants are paying off your mortgage, you get monthly cash flow, and when these properties are paid off, that stream of income allows you to retire, take vacations, and even pay for cars. So that's called real estate investing. The open door company had a rocky summer, uh, especially reminiscent of the prices that doomed Zillow's iBuying business last year. But that doesn't mean that open door is going to go ahead and shut down their business. Doesn't mean that at all. But it sure is going to have some deep losses in September, probably even worse than they had in August. Now, all the home flipper metrics are looking like they're in the danger zone. Flippers never really own anything. And this is where Open Door and Zillow computer home buying model just does not work. The I buying or home flipping model actually requires them to acquire homes, make light repairs and resell those properties. Often they wanna do that real quick, like within a few months of the initial purchase. But when home prices were skyrocketing, like earlier in the year, Open Door was making money. But any slight market shift makes that doomed plan collapse like a house of cards. That's flipping. And the home affordability crisis, along with mortgage rates that are soaring towards 7%, has pushed many would-be home buyers to the sidelines. I get it. Now, just take a look at how far off the home valuation tools that are online are. You know the ones I'm talking about. The ones where you type in an address, you know, your computer spits out what your home is worth without even looking on the inside. I've seen some houses that have sold for $100,000 over what the big companies said the value was. So like computers, they know better than a human, right? You know, a local professional who knows the market inside and out, like, like the back of their hand, is a much better resource than a computer in some other state. You know, in June of this year, the median home price 
began to decline in some areas of the United States, other areas it's maintained, especially in markets that had been the frothiest in the boom days like California, Nevada, uh, Arizona, Florida, uh, Connecticut, New Jersey, those places. The shift caught open door totally by surprise, surprise and, it, and it left the open-endedness of thousands of properties that they had already agreed to purchase when prices were rising. So instead of canceling those contracts, Open Door decided to make good on those offers and they said it was gonna be a branding issue long term that uh, they said this to the investors. But the shares slid and are down 72% this year through the close of September 16th. Now eventually, Open Door will finish selling through all that inventory that it had acquired uh, before the market shifted and it'll give it a chance to stem some of those losses. But long-term investing is not going to Vegas. It's not flipping. In real estate, whether the market is up, whether the market is down, there are some people that are making money. You just need to sit next to the smart kids. So no matter where you live, you gotta figure out where that value is in any market. If you know what you're doing, you can feel like it's a big win. And I hope you're winning. So give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Did you do it?